Mr. Ness. Alphonse is taking care of that. Yeah. Hey everybody, Dicky26 here. Welcome back to Blues and Bullets. I'm playing, uh, this is the final chapter, so you're talking uh, part 2.4. This is the final video. This is when things get very, very interesting, and I am not going to be talking much for this video either because there is a lot of uh, the storyline that goes on through this, out, through this video. Uh, um, that you must read or you must hear so um, just to just let the video roll I will not be talking through this entire video until near the end so uh, thanks so much for watching and just uh, enjoy the video I'd say Capone is Titus and Ivankov is Aaron who ordered the kidnapping rape and mutilation of Titus's daughter Lavinia what do you think Son of a bitch! Ah, you are wrong! We can't let him kill him before he confesses. I'm sorry, buddy, but what we can't do is to interfere in Alphonse's plans. Remember what he did to Burke? In five minutes' time, Ivankov will be dead, and your beloved Alphonse will never find his granddaughter. Come on, you'll need help. Uh, let me explain. Take a rest. Uh, I didn't do a thing. This is all a mistake, I swear. Are you sure? Because what I found in your submarine makes me think otherwise. What the fuck did you find? The hold is full of cages. Cages where you kept people locked up. All right, yes. I make people disappear. Uh, you don't know how hard it was to survive after you went away. Santa Esperanza went crazy. The cops, the judges, the other families. They all wanted to destroy your empire. I had to make a living. What about the children? What children? I never kidnapped a child. Never! In your submarine, there's a container with mattresses barely a yard and a half long, and drawings of kids gunning down your men. Have you seen them? Yes! For Christ's sake, yes! I traffic in children too! Fuck! I'll kill you. But I never kidnapped your granddaughter, Al. Your family is my family! I've also seen Baccarini's accounts. You paid him $2,500 for some forged papers. In the name of Guido Colombo. Son of a bitch, let me go! Steady, Alphonse. It's a lie! It's a lie! He's a fucking cop! How can you believe him? <laughs> Take it easy, Alphonse. Take it easy. I need a name. Just one name. Who asked for the girl? Who? I don't know. I truly don't know. I wish I could just kill you, Nikolai. But I have a reputation to think about. I prefer to do things differently. You help me, and I'll help you. Yes. And how the fuck are you going to help me? I know you still have relatives in Russia. I investigated you when you were working for Capone, but it would never occur to me to harm them. On the contrary, I want to protect them. From what? From your customer. No doubt they already know Capone found you. Are they going to spare any expense to clear up any loose ends? Tell me who they are, and I'll take your family far away 
where nobody can find them. I've never seen her. She told me to find nine kids for her not long after Al went into the slammer. Not just any nine kids. They were all the sons of criminals. Corrupt cops, murderers, rapists. A woman? She set up a meet in the caves at Rockford. In the darkness. I never saw her face. A week ago she had me meet her again. The same place. The same assignment. Just like 20 years ago. But with new kids. Including Sophia Capone. What else? That's it. There has to be more. Maybe there's someone else who does business with her. Back in the day, I had a mole working undercover with the gravedigger's men. You mean Elaine Ganella? We were all spying on each other. We had to slice up the cake that Al had left behind. A few days after the assignment, Gonella took care of the bodies of eight kids. Oh dear God, not again. Did Gonella tell you why? This? This son of a bitch was behind the case that ended my career 20 years ago. <laughs> the missing children were murdered. Why? Tell me why, you son of a bitch. Did she tell you? No. Why should she? I don't usually fraternize with the competition. That is all. I am dead. You have no idea. You said that. Screw everything I said. I don't know what you think I did, but I'd never do anything. Yeah, there you go, pussy. You don't have the guts to do shit. I don't know why I told you anything. I knew it was too much for someone like you. Do something! No, please! No! What the fuck? His bodyguard. Where do you buy those things? He wasn't his bodyguard. He was his jailer. Let's go. If that thing found us, there'll be more on the way. All right. I'll go by the suite to pick up my things.
change of plan. I don't want my things anymore. Where is Mr. Capone? Where is he? There's no one by that name here, sir. We have to help them. What? That's suicidal. There's too many of them. And only Ness is carrying a gun. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ness. Let's go. this place better than me. Any other exits? There's another cable car for emergencies. Which way? That way. We all okay? Yeah. For the time being. and turns, huh?
Let me try something. We're not gonna get out of here. So what's the secret ingredient? We'll get out of here. We have to keep moving. Uh, shame. Which way? That way! The service entrance! Let's go. Remember the November 9th massacre? I arranged a meet with Leo Maldonado in the garage on 72nd and May. I was alone, but the son of a bitch turns up with 30 men. Fortunately, I brought along one of these beauties. You should have seen the faces on those jacks.
weapons, huh? Whew. How many did we kill? <sighs> More than I've seen in 13 years. Now it's Pal, we'll meet again. Oh God, oh God, Ray, oh God. Oh. He was a good man, and you know what? The first thing he said to me when he walked into my restaurant was that he was going to die. He saved my ass several times, literally. And I don't need to tell you what a big shot mafioso keeps his ass for when he goes into jail. He saved me. Looks like it's clear. Let's go. Is this dump safe? It'll have to do. Besides, they're looking for you. They may not have recognized me. What do you think? Come on, quit belly aching. You're a big boy now. Screw you, miss. I'm in no mood for jokes. What is this? Well, ladies and gents, that is it for uh, part two of Blues and Bullets. That was just really good. It's just getting so good now. It, it's starting to build up the storyline and all. 
I love that. That was a really great chapter. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. This has been Dicky26. I will be putting up more videos soon as I as I have them edited and you know and so on and so forth because they're not a, I'm not a fairy so I can't just go bling and then they just show up. <laughs> I wish. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, Dicky26 uh, playing blues and uh, blues and bullets. I appreciate it. Uh, so the next video. Peace out.